before start please don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel and share this video at your social media and if you have any question or inquiry you can write it down there in the comment section or contact me directly at my instagram so if we look together at the visa policy map of suriname first click over this link over here then we'll show you the visa policy map of suriname and you can find that there are few countries that can travel to suriname and stay without any need for any visa like brazil argentina china uh russia you can see a list of all these countries over here some of these countries can stay for up to six months other for 90 days and other for uh, 30 days for the rest of the world you will need either an electronic tourist card or electronic visa to apply for suriname electronic uh tourist card or electronic visa you can apply through this link suriname.vfs visa.com slash suriname slash online slash home slash index and once you click over it this page will appear in front of you and this is the official website from where you can apply for the online tourist card or the online visa for suriname so let's learn together how to apply for the electronic uh, visa using this website first i will choose to register first okay i'll register myself then click register okay please click on the activation link in the email okay so I'm checking my email right now they're supposed to send me an activation email okay this is my activation email click here and now my account is supposed to be activated I am registering now login password okay then click login okay save are you applying with others no i'm applying only for myself save and continue and here applying as individual my first name my application type is it like a short stay okay i'm applying for a short stay three months okay purpose of visit okay i like so i'm sorry i think i have to change not short stay to choose entry fee and my purpose of visit will be tourism okay phone number let me choose my phone number let's assume i'm applying from india for example okay then then save and continue now i'll start my application details surname okay as per passport gender passport number nationality at present let's say i am indian date of birth let's say this is my date of birth for example date of arrival let's say i will arrive in the end of the next month save and continue documents okay i will have to apply to upload the passport bio page choose file okay i'm trying to find a file to upload
Okay, I'll click upload. Then save and continue. And this is disclaimer. Okay, I have read and accept. Save and continue. Okay, review and process to pay. Okay, this is my passport number, nationality, date of birth, entry fee, service fee, and now I will have to pay, pay through ideal payment, confirm and continue to payment. And this is the payment page. You pay, I agree the terms and conditions. Okay. Pay using full payment so yeah first I have to fill some details like street city state I'll choose a country to be India and then you pay okay now they are directing me okay we are great to inform you that your online payment could not be completed. Please retry. If there is any way to pay through credit card. Yes. Okay. You don't have to click on this idle payment. Just this is your credit card. Fill your credit card number and the expiry date. First, after the number, then you'll have to choose uh, the month and the year. And, of course, you'll have to write your uh, CVV. And in the end, you will have just to click you pay. And this amount, of course, don't forget to fill the billing address. And once you do so, your receipt will be generated. Your payment will be done. And they will redirect you back again. And an email will be sent to uh, you confirming your payment. And you will have to wait for a few days for... Uh, the processing of your application and for decision and once your visa is accepted they will send you an acceptance email they will send you the visa through your email the first document that you will need for your visa application is your passport make sure that your passport is valid at least for six months and at least two pages uh, are there are empty for stamps and your photo and your details in your passport are clear you will need also photocopies of your passport. At least make sure you have three photocopies. Sometimes they require only a photocopy of the data pages, but sometimes you will need also to photocopy the stamp pages and the other visas you have in your passport. You will also need to submit personal pictures. Make sure that your picture is new, not older than six months, with a white background unless uh, the embassy or the visa office tell you something else and with clear face details you will also need a visa application form this visa application form could be filled and submitted online other visa application form uh, could be filled on computer then printed and signed and other visa application form uh, need to be filled manually all depend on your destination and the type of the visa you're applying for. You will also need to submit a proof of status. If you are an employee, then you will need to bring an HR letter from your company. And this HR letter uh, should be signed and stamped with all the details of your company and your position in the company and stating your salary as well. If you are a business owner, then you need to submit all the documents that you have that can prove that you own a business. If you are a student, then you will need to ask your university to give you an admission letter. If you are a minor, then your father and mother, your parents, should be approving your travel by giving you uh, a letter signed by them. If you are jobless, then try to approve your uh, means of, uh, of, of funds. Sometimes you will need to provide a proof of legal status if you are applying from another country than your main 
country of nationality. Uh, in that case, you either need to submit a valid visa of this company of this country or uh, a proof of legal uh, residency in this country. You will need also to submit a bank statement as a proof of funds. It should cover the last six months uh, movement of your account and it should be signed and stamped by your bank. Number eight is your flight reservation. It should be a round trip and some countries require you to submit a confirmed ticket and for others it will be okay to submit a dummy ticket and I will teach you how to make both of them the confirmed ticket and the dummy ticket. Number nine is your travel accommodation or the booking of your hotel. Sometimes it's required to be confirmed and sometimes it's okay to be an initial booking and sometimes some countries require you that this booking should cover at least a third of your trip. Number 10 is your travel insurance and remember it's not always necessary and uh, it should be made from a verified platform or office uh, acknowledged by uh, the country you are traveling to and it should cover uh, your whole trip and sometimes it's required to submit a travel insurance that covers a year and uh, it's minimal uh, the minimal coverage should be at least 30,000 euros remember that before applying for the visa you will need to contact the embassy or the application office and ask them about if there is any change in the documents or if there is any special documents required from you because sometimes documents are different from a country to another